I have really enjoyed getting to know Archbishop Holgates as your ordained chaplain. Commencing this role in January this year amidst lockdown and then journeying with you as we emerge and gravitate towards something more normal has certainly been different. And I am aware that I still haven't met many of you personally, but I am hoping that there will be more opportunities as restrictions ease and we have more freedom. I am in school most Tuesday afternoons, but I am happy to be flexible with this where I can alongside my parish ministry. So please be in touch with me if you think I can be of assistance to you. It's been such a privilege to visit all the Year 10 RE revision classes this term and to start to get to know some of the students. And I have been continually impressed with all that you offer the school in your various roles and the impact that this is clearly having on the school's ethos and the students' attainment, achievement, behaviour and attitudes. I am proudly flying the flag for the school whenever I have the opportunity. The reading set for this coming Sunday is taken from Mark's Gospel and I think it's so appropriate as you approach the end of the term and the academic year. In the passage, the disciples tell Jesus about all that they had been doing, their comings and their goings, with no time for leisure and even no time to eat. I have absolutely no doubt that you will know exactly what this feels like. School life is like this in normal times, never mind factoring in all the extra work that living in the shadow of a global pandemic has piled on. I would not be surprised to hear that you are just about crawling to the end of the term, on the back of tags, exam marking, working out the intent of the curriculum, preparing for inspection, getting ready for next, sept next September, and just a whole host of other stuff. And I think Jesus's response to his disciples about their busyness is just as freshly relevant to us today as it was to his band of brothers all those years ago. Looking on them in tender compassion, Jesus invited the disciples to come away in a boat to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. Jesus Christ, God in human flesh, knows what it feels like to be exhausted, run ragged, stressed and overwhelmed with all that there is to do. He doesn't offer to take it away from them, but what he does offer is a reminder that being rested, refreshed and recharged is essential to our flourishing and experience of the fullness of life. And Jesus offers us this life in him. It is my prayer that the summer vacation will be a time of replenishment for each one of you. But more than that, I pray that when you return in September, you will carve into your rhythm of life regular times to get into that boat and rest a while so that you can receive all that you need to continue your ministries and your vocations in serving the young people of our school. May God bless you.